I really didn't hope I was wanted to make this video. I really didn't want to make this video. I hoped that I didn't want to do it. So as you guys may know, over two years ago, I made a video titled, um, Why Did I Quit Fortnite? And I made that video because I honest, I made a video titled that because I quit Fortnite. I, like, I legit quit it. And in that video, um, I kind of did like a piss poor job on actually explaining my reasons on why did I quit or like the main reasons on why did I chose to depart from Fortnite? And why did I wanted to stop uploading videos on it? And I didn't do that. I did like a piss poor job and honestly thought I just made that video and just put it up there and get it done with. But, but two years, two years later, I guess a lot of people who probably knew people who have seen my videos and probably saw that video were asking themselves like, why, um, why did I quit Fortnite? What were the main reasons? I, I didn't explain it full detail in person. That's because merely in, when I made that video, um, I didn't actually, that video wasn't scripted at all. It was just me coming from my thoughts. So this video right now, I'm just, I'm making this video right now just to give three re main reasons on why did I quit it. Now this video is kind of scripted. Not at least that much scripted than before, so yeah. But without further ado, before we start guys, make sure you guys to like and comment, uh, like and comment in, in the description in this video. And make sure you guys to subscribe to my ch channel, make sure to just to hit that bell so you never miss another video from me. But anyway guys, so we're gonna first start off with reason number one. So reason number one on why did I quit a Fortnite was because I've lost complete like full interest in Fortnite. And you might guys think like, how can you lose like full interest in Fortnite? Like Fortnite releases multiple different updates with all the like stuff and weapons to like mess around with. Bro, that's the point. But the thing about Fortnite that they kind of nail, like some games like Call of Duty is like replayability. Like what do you do after you like get your first win and like in a season? You got an umbrella. But that's merely that's it. Then what else do you do? You basically level up the battle pass, complete the challenges, and play around, do all that. Like there's nothing else like to do in that game. It's merely it. It's just like to just continue on playing games, messing around with your buddies. And that's the also the second reason is also like the this one's the first reason is now I've lost full interest of it, but also uh, because also a lot of my buddies that I played around with, um, we actually started less playing around in the main like BR game, and we messed around with creative. A lot of my buddies would just go play creative instead of normal BR. So a lot of the time I was just playing BR solos alone without anyone because my friends were either not on or just busy playing creative, doing all that. Which, this was not my fault, it's just, it's just they had interest in, in creative and I had interest in normal BR. And that was the main reason, like, Fortnite doesn't offer you, like, a lot of the life servants games, like, they might actually good life service games can provide you with updates that will actually help you like keep the game running but the problem is is over time a lot of the um, life service games will just you just get bored of them because there's they they have all that stuff but there's like not like big reason to like continue playing them because they're not providing you something to actually grind for and that's the problem that fortnite could nail is actually giving people a sentence to grind like something to actually uh, do f for like just to level up like get, get for like call of duty like get camels grind for some camels final master camels fortnite doesn't offer any of that so that was like the main first reason on why did i quit playing it so anyway um so anyway so let's move on to reason number two so reason number two, now this reason it could be a little bit of a controversy, but Fortnite has, over time, the Fortnite right now, have lost its complete originality. Fortnite legit 
have done way more crossovers. And they've not only done way more crossovers, they've done religious crossovers and multiple crossovers in one season. That's how bad Fortnite has failed. They started like adding diff this crossovers into Battle Pass. They added other characters from other franchises. And it's cool to have that, but just don't have it often. Like, don't have it like having a sponsorship every day and just adding a crossover into the item shop every day. You keep like the gap in between, like, I don't know, like two season, two season gap or like way more a month gap into your next crossover. And just, but don't do it like constantly. That people would just get like, so confused and start leaving the game because obviously you wanted to get that money from I don't know Marvel or DC and it's, it's cool to ha for the record I'm all I can say it's cool to have uh, different characters from other franchises into Fortnite but the way they pulled it off was complete honestly baffling like not only that like I by the time I left Fortnite it was season four. And on season four, they added obviously the Marvel, like it was a full Marvel season, and the whole characters in the Battle Pass were just Marvel characters, nothing original. How cool! Nothing original at all. And they most of returned to that, but it's just it's just so baffling that Fortnite has started off as a company. They have done so much. They've done like so creative, like ideas, original. But over time money becomes money can make people greedy and asking for more even crossovers could are fun to do sometimes but if you're doing it oftenly players will just be so detached will look at the game being so detached of what it was supposed to be it was supposed to be a, a fun original game that epic games created and then gave it to us but now they just completely lost it they started doing way more sponsorships than they could ever done themselves and yeah pretty much i have nothing much to um, say about like the second reason it's just fortnite completely lost its originality it it's just fortnite was not it, it it's not what a fortnite used to be like an original title that epic games created something they cooked up it started off as like a a PvE, like survival type objective based game mode. But then they decided to come up with a BR idea, which they managed to pull off. It was so amazing. But then over time, as they started getting more crossovers and more crossovers and getting collabs of other like franchises, they started like lose, being so far and detached and so far up their ass of what they originally were as a company. And that's the main reason, the second reason why I quit Fortnite was because the game just completely lost its originality. Now, let's move on to reason number three. And this is going to be the final reason. Because I don't want this video to be being so long as explaining it. So, anyway, reason number three. Alright, so before we go on to reason number three, I, I want to discuss some uh, things that a lot of people were um, saying to me uh, in real life about, like, Fortnite in general when they were when they told me about like four nights and things that then may actually sense in terms of content where they were actually explaining it so i'm gonna actually explain like two of the main factors that i had like two people say about fortnite now bear in mind these were like little kids like they were like first years and like some of the primary school students that actually told me about this so i'm just gonna um give it like a huge let me educate them to tell them that they were wrong. All right, let's get first started. Um, the first kid actually said that Fortnite uh, was actually a fun. Well, to be honest, yeah, yes. That's pretty much all the video games. Um, they're all meant to be fun. And like Fortnite was also <laughs> those games that's fun. And it used to be. It actually used to be fun. They were like... I remember the the most fun I had was doing an Endgame event, the uh, LTM, uh, when they did like the sponsorship collab with um, Avengers Endgame. That event was really, really, really fun. You got to actually uh, control the Shatari army and become Thanos, you get the gauntlet, or the other team, you get to 
be you can beat Iron Man, you get to use the Stormbreaker, you get to use Cap's hand, do all that. Yeah, it used to be actually fun. <laughs> but now it just it does And also the second of uh, also a second kid that told me about this and it's completely stupid that why'd you get Fortnite? In from Fortnite you you rage less. Fuck you kid. To be honest, let me just uh, clearly imply you that have you seen people, um, have you seen Twitch range compilation on Fortnite? Yes, because Fortnite is a game where you basically have to be good at building in order to win. If you're not good at building, a lot of the time you will get mad at it because you couldn't uh, do well building then your friends or someone in that game who killed you. Why are you on about? Like, those kids are like... Uh, obviously, they're very young, and obviously, what are you talking about? Like people talking about, like saying that Fortnite is a less rage-inducing game than like Call of Duty, all that. But it's not. A lot of the time, you have to be good at building and good at gunfights in order to win. And a lot of the time, you will get mad because the person and uh, will uh, is way much better than you. And when you actually try hard, a lot of the time, the person will just say, "Stop try harding." Anyway, I have one of my friends do that. And I was so incredibly mad at him that I couldn't legit control it. And I fucking raged at that kid because he was so good and I was bad. That's why I raged. So yeah, that's pretty much like two things I want um, to talk about like about Fortnite. About like some things that two kids that said something about Fortnite that they, they legit discussed it with me. And yeah, I just wanted to clear this up before going on to the last set. Anyway, so let's move on to our last segment and reason number three. So reason number three on why did I quit Fortnite completely is now for the moment of truth. The main reason, the third reason is because of the state of Save the World. Yep, that's really it. As you know, um, Fortnite um, didn't start off as a, like, if you guys know the history of Fortnite, but let me educate you quick. Basically, Fortnite, it didn't start off with BR. They first created a, like a PV, PV, PVE a z zombie survival type story mode. And basically, they started working all the way that back in 2011. And then it was released to 2018. And then they created, um, they obviously they created Battle Royale. And now, like, Epic Games had like two games to work on. They, had the BR mode, which was free to play and a pay for PVP experience, and they had Save the World, a paid campaign, a P PVE um, story. And now, obviously, they had the main reason. That's the main reason is that Epic Games clearly have lost full interest on the mode they created all the way back in 2011. As you know, Save the World was supposed to be planned on releasing free to play um, in 2018, in uh, approximately in June 2018. Well, sort of like that, maybe next year. And and obviously, when that day happened, they pushed it back to another date. Well, okay, super. They most have had time. They actually need time to work on it. Just at least they have, have everything working. And that they hit, they also pushed back. But then later in 2020, two years two years ago, they said that Save the World have left early access, but it's not going to be planned or releasing free to play anytime soon. So basically, now that you see right there that Fortnite right now at that point have completely lost full interest in the mode they developed so many years in working, and they just had had all the way like they wanted to focus just on battle royale that was like the main focus they just wanted to focus on battle royale and just leave the save the world to ashes and they did they released that blog post and they released bit updates to save the world but it's not that much than br well they are receiving with br so yeah, not only, not only that, I later found out that actually they're removing it. So, it was said to believe that they actually are removing it. 
a few months ago they actually removed Save the World, so, but I, I I had no idea about that. So yeah, that was like the so yeah. Anyway, guys, so that's all the time I have for today, and hopefully that I don't have to do any more videos on this topic. I've already discussed everything in this video, and I hope that nobody ha says anything further or asks me anything further about why they quit for it. So yeah, that's all the time I have for today, guys. So make sure you guys, you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss another video from me. But anyway, guys, it is your boy OJ, and I'll turn next time. Peace out, my dudes.